Hi, I'm Jen Merlot, and my family and I live in Shalimar, Florida. My daughter Gabby was born with a congenital heart defect. She was diagnosed at just a few days old with Tetralogy of Fallot. Like many expectant mothers, I had my concerns that something could be wrong, but overall, my pregnancy went very well. I also had two very healthy boys at home, and we were just very excited to be bringing home the baby girl. I was induced about a week early because Gabby was getting quite big and the delivery experience, it just went perfectly. And um, she weighed in at nine pounds, 14 ounces. Her initial color was a little concerning, um, but they thought it might be just some bruising because she was quite a big baby. Um, they were also watching her for a murmur they had detected. The first night, she stayed in the hospital with me in the room and everything went well. However, the second day, they took her to the newborn nursery that evening for an assessment and they didn't bring her back. Early the next morning, I was called to the newborn nursery to talk to the pediatrician. And at that point, um, she did talk to me more about the murmur, but she also pointed to an x-ray on the wall and that x-ray was Gabby's heart and it was shaped like a boot. And that was the defining moment because I was a nurse and I just couldn't deny what I was seeing on that x-ray. That same day, Gabby was transferred to our closest NICU in Pensacola. And my husband and I, we followed the ambulance there. And when we got to the NICU, we met the cardiologist and and he confirmed that she did indeed have a heart defect. And at that point, we knew that she was gonna need surgery soon. When Gabby was about four and a half months old, um, she went to Orlando for her open heart surgery. The location was somewhat comforting for us because we had just lived there years prior and, and I had worked at the same hospital um, system that her surgery was going to be performed at. But I learned very quickly that day that it was so much easier to be the operating room nurse than it was to be the parent in the surgical waiting room. As you can see, her surgery went exceptionally well. I had open heart surgery when I was a baby. The doctor fixed it. And I have a baby mark right here. I like to do t-ball, swimming, soccer, cheerleading. As you can see, it hasn't limited her at all. <laughs> wow, you really got it on now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you still have that thing? You still look pretty. Okay. <laughs> all right, I think your part is done. You're quite the actress. We're not sure why Gabby was born with a heart defect. She was also born with an abnormality of her right ear. She had a skin tag outside of that ear when she was born, and we later found out that she doesn't have a cochlea on that side. Since the ears and the heart develop around the same time during pregnancy, it's suspected that it was simply a hiccup in development. Fortunately, this hasn't limited her in any way. She's doing gymnastics and playing sports and doing very well in kindergarten. We're incredibly thankful for the research that has contributed to Gabby's success story. Your gift to American Heart Association tonight will continue to make a difference for Gabby and for other children like her. Thank you for allowing me to share our story.